Stephanie, Stephanie Francis and I'm the anti-stigma lead within Mentally Healthy Leads at Touchstone. Um, I'm here to talk to you today about World Mental Health Day which is this week um, and to discuss various aspects of what it means to me. So what have I had experience of mental ill health? Um, most people, including myself at one time, have said no. They don't have any experience. Now I have a better understanding about what that means. I would say yes, I have. I've experienced a lot of anxiety throughout my adult life um, for various reasons. I've also experienced a lot of bereavement from the point of my first child being stillborn and not having relevant support, professional support at the time to deal with my feelings around that. Also, um, family was very supportive emotionally but because it was the first known time in the family many people didn't know what to advise. I've also experienced bereavement when I've lost my parents each time, which was quite distressing, even though they were quite old in age. Bereavement is still quite a painful process, regardless of who you've lost or why they've passed away. Uh, so I did experience quite a lot of mental ill health at that time. That's when I first sought counselling, which I found very helpful. It helped me to deal with a lot of other issues that I didn't realise existed. So what has COVID, how has COVID impacted on my mental wellbeing? I would say that it's not had a massive impact. Um, I've still been able to get out and go to work. Uh, I've also been able to keep in contact with colleagues through mostly through Zoom meetings, but one or two colleagues, it's been safe to have direct conversation with them. Um, I've also been helping out at um, the Touchstone Loves Food Project, which just getting out and being around people has helped my well-being massively. Being able to get up every morning and go out the house, have a purpose to get up and go out the house, um, for me has been really, really helpful. But I have also felt quite sad and quite depressed on occasion, not being able to have proper contact with family and friends as I did prior to lockdown, not being able to see people other than Zoom meetings or through WhatsApp messages. That's been quite a struggle for me. Luckily, I've had a massive amount of support from my husband because um, we've supported each other through this. So yeah, COVID-19 COVID has had, a, had an impact, but I'm aware that there are other people that have had it a lot worse as well. And that has left me feeling quite humble. So what sort of acts of kindness um, have I offered to people. I'm talking about that because I'm aware that the theme this year for World Mental Health Day is about acts of kindness. I guess I would say the two main ones that I've had is a family member who's been very unwell. I've supported them and continue to do so. Um, they have a condition that's been diagnosed, a mental health condition and I've been around for them as much as is possible to support them through these current cha very challenging times. Um, I've also, as I say, been involved with the Touchstone Was Food Project and I would like to think that I've supported some people to feel less isolated through people visiting them giving them, making sure that they've got food to eat, etc. Um, 
what have I done to be kind to myself? I guess just trying to keep my well-being as strong as possible, as positive as possible. I enjoy doing word puzzles. Um, I've also gone out and about walking, especially at the weekend, as much as possible. Found, discovered new places within my local area that I didn't know existed. So that's all been really good for me because I do love walking and the fresh air. Um, yeah, so generally catching up with family as I say on WhatsApp and watching a bit of TV, catching up with some TV, sort of things that I would normally take for granted, um, but I've enjoyed doing them and they've helped me to rebalance at the end of each day. So my final message to everybody would be for this World Mental Health Day and beyond, please do look after yourselves, look after each other. It is a very difficult time we're all experiencing at the moment. Nobody knows for definite when things will start to improve. Um, so just take care of yourselves. There is support available out there. Please do make contact with any of the support services, mental health support services. Also contact Mentally Healthy Leads uh, if you need to discuss any issues and we can signpost you to the best form of support available. The number for Mentally Healthy Leads is 0113 248 4880 and in the meantime just pass the word around if you have issues that you're struggling to deal with, if you're feeling sense of anxiety if you're feeling depressed please talk to someone even if you don't feel like saying a lot it's good to start the conversations it's good to start talking and it very well may support your mental well-being for you to become more resilient thank you